be fast. So Eileen and I, we're going to talk about because we actually have uh, uh, the symptoms that are described in this acronym. Mm -hmm. So the first letter is B. Eileen, what does B stand for? Okay, so this happened to me. So B is for balance. So if you are feeling a loss of balance and or a headache or something where you're not walking um, normally, that would be B. Um, and E. The next one is E, yeah. What is E stands for? E stands for eyes. So if you have blurred vision, anything fuzzy, and it happens all of a sudden, it's definitely a symptom of a stroke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So for your case, you actually felt a moment that it happened. Right? It was instantaneously. Okay. In, at the same time, it just took seconds. Mm. Okay, so for me, it wasn't, I didn't fe remember a moment that it happened, mm -hmm. but the next letter is F is for face, is for facial droop. So I couldn't see it myself because I wasn't looking into the mirror at the time. But the people who were with me said I actually had distinct facial droop on the left side because I lost um, function to the left side of my body. So F is for face. Mm -hmm. And the next letter is A, is for arms. Uh, so it's for your limbs. So for me, I did not feel it at the time in, when I was in the house. I did not lose balance, I did not fall, or usually if you lose uh, strength to one side, you, the, the person might fall, which is also dangerous. They can hit you know, the head. Uh, for me, I did not feel it until I was actually in the hospital, uh, in the ER, that I, I said, oh, I did not know where my left hand was. So I, had, I experienced that. The next letter is S, so it's speech. So that was actually the first thing my, uh, my clients noticed in me is the slurring of speech. Uh, and they notice it right away. I remember I was at the same word, I was trying to say three times, and next thing I know she was walking me out of the house. So the speech was, could be one thing that was very noticeable. So Eileen, the last letter is T. What does T stand for? So T is not a symptom. T is if you have any of the symptoms, it's time to call 911 mm -hmm. immediately. Immediately. If you have even one of the symptoms, mm -hmm. it's time to call. Yeah. When I was um, at the ER, the doctor told me there are hospitals that are stroke centers, so they are more equipped to uh, handle stroke patients. And my friend who's a doctor told me if there's a stroke patient coming into the hospital, all their screen will have an alert. Stroke patient coming in in two minutes, three minutes. And then the, the cardiologist, I think the neurologist, they will push the scanner to the room. And as soon as the patient gets there, then they have everything they need to do the scan right away. Um, calling the ambulance is the right thing to do because you would not want to lose more of your balance or function when as you were driving. And also you cannot afford to wait in an ER. Right now ER is taking hours and hours before you can be seen. Stroke patients, they told me, needs to be seen right away. Yeah. Right. So please remember these um, letters. The, the, again, the acronym is BFAS. If we all remember it, if we all have it in our mind uh, when we go out and see friends and clients and sometime, someday maybe you'll be in a position to help others or educate your family and friends and maybe we need, hopefully we don't, but if we ever in that situation again, hopefully someone who is with us know the symptoms because we taught them. Yes, right? be fast. Be fast. Thank you, Eileen.